Welcome to Brent's Anime Recommendation Corner, a little space where I just enthuse about something I love. Uh, and in this case, I'm going to enthuse about Penny Pony Dash. This is a 26-ish episode comedy anime TV series uh, that is just wackiness all the way through. It is very, very weird. Um, it is about this girl, Becky, who is a child prodigy who decides to, um, after she graduates from, I think it's Harvard, um, she decides to teach a Japanese high school class because that's what you do. Um, and this class is full of all sorts of weird people that you really have to be um, uh, rather forceful with. Uh, and unfortunately, Becky does not have a really great time with this uh, to the point where she has to, um, uh, she ends up hiding behind the curtain um, uh, in the classroom from all of her crazy students, um, including the, the very spacey one, um, as while aliens uh, watch and talk about all of this. Um, this is an anime series, a comedy anime series directed by Akiyuki Shinbo, uh, who is well known for doing, let's just say, really weird symbolic anime, and that is what Penny Pony Dash is. Um, it is a screwball comedy through the mind of a very um, aesthetically distinctive director. So things don't always look the way a typical anime does. Um, yes, there are very typical anime moments, but those are punctuated by real weirdness. Um, uh, let me see if I can just show you. Um, one of the weird things is that other than the, all of the like main named characters, Everyone else in the class is drawn absolutely identically. Um, they literally don't don't matter. Um, um, there's all sorts of jokes and tropes and references to all sorts of um, other um, anime series in there and sci science fiction. Oh, and by the way, that's God, uh, who is trapped inside a soda machine. Or is he? Pony Pony Dash is weird. Um... And often weirdness can just feel random. Um, I'm not a big fan of things where it's just sort of throwing things at you to um, because newness is funny. That is not what Pony Pony Dash feels like. Um, everything in Pony Pony Dash feels like it is intentional and um, that everything you see is going to be a reference to something in some way. You may not get it. You may not catch it. But there is a synchronicity to everything. As weird as it can be at times, and it can be weird. Um, yeah, I, it, it, it can get really weird. This is a puppet. Uh, and yeah, that's, that's Colonel Sanders. Um, so yeah, this might very much you know, appeal to you because of, of that. Um, and because of how crazy it is. And I just found Penny Pony Dash to be consistently interesting. Um, not only was it funny, not, not only was I laughing at all of the, the weirdness and the, 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 the jokes and, and such, uh, and the interactions of all the characters. And there you see all the sort of duplicate characters in the background where it's a, a boy model and a girl model and they just duplicated all the way through besides the main characters. Anyway, um, not only was it funny, it was always being inventive. It, it was always changing things around and trying new stuff out with its uh, its premise and its characters. And um, so when weird stuff happened, it didn't feel like the staff was desperate. Um, it felt like that was part of the universe, and that was part of how they could introduce fresh things into the comedy um, and have new premises for jokes and, and such like that. Um, and what's also interesting to me is that Pony Pony Dash is kind of this weird commentary on comedy. And I'll see if I can find a, um, uh, an example here. But sometimes when you're looking at, and yeah, there'll be these weird um, um, jokes about things all over the place. Um, sometimes when they show, there we go. Um, so you see how you have this sort of weird view of the classroom where you're seeing sort of the classroom in almost like letterbox. That's because you're actually s pulling back and you're seeing the stage that the um, 
classroom is on as though this was a live action comedy and the camera's just pulled back too far. And there are sh shots in this where you can actually see like the stage underneath and the lighting and all this. So it's very meta um, in, in many, many spots. Um, it's an odd, odd show, partly because it is examining kind of what, um, it's not examining. Um, Penny Pony Dash is one of those rare works that knows what it is and is willing to play around with its fundamental identity and is not too precious with its premise. So it can kind of pull back the curtain and say, hey, this is all invented. None of these characters exist. They're all just paint. And so we can play around with that and we can have weird stuff. We can kill off a character in one episode and have him show up again in the next episode. Um, because it's a screwball comedy, like it doesn't matter. Um, and we can make jokes about that. We can make jokes about the fact that this is not a real world. Um, and it creates a very different tone to the series than most other comedies I've seen, where there's a certain preciousness to the concept, a certain thing that we have these characters all set up and we can't change anything. This is willing to change things. Now, you know, character personalities do remain consistent. Like, it isn't completely reinventing itself every episode. Um, but there's an intelligence behind Pony Pony Dash that is willing to um, break itself apart if it needs to for a joke, for a moment, for a punchline. And that I just really appreciated. And I just found it to be thoroughly entertaining from episode one all the way up through to the end. Um, again, it's not going to be for everybody. It's, it's a very specific flavor. This is a um, pineapple, raspberry, lime punch, uh, you know, which is a, with some bourbon in it. I don't know. There's just a lot of different flavors going on. Um, but you may just find it as delicious as I did. So hope you found this useful. And uh, that is just me enthusing about something that I love.